Hey guys, uh, just figured I might shoot a, a real quick video here. Uh, ever since I put that HVAC fun video up, uh, mom got a good peek at what my buddy's uh, returns look like. And uh, this is in the, the newly done uh, living room here where I redid the uh, crown and the, uh, the trim and I actually did like an entryway project here and all that good stuff. And uh, we've got, uh, you know, the grate here is freshly painted so I'm actually going to have to, uh, you know, utilize my razor here to get it off. And uh, as you can tell, uh, half of this return was behind this uh, cabinet here, and uh, it looks a little functified there, guys. So uh, let me get in this thing and uh, see what we can find out. I'm hoping it ain't as bad as my buddies. Ooh wee. Coming out of the screw. <laughs> All right. See if we get funk coming out of this one. Got 25 degrees in Fern Creek, guys. It's freaking cold. Oh boy, it's kind of funky. Let's see. All right, guys, I can't really see down in there good. So what I'm actually going to do is take my drop light, stick it down in there, and I'll uh, actually stick my camera in there, and then I'll go and check the, the check the, the the video feed on it and see how filthy it really is. I was actually thinking about. Uh, actually repanning and hitter and everything down there if but I mean if it's not too too bad I'll just try to vacuum some of it out all right guys just bear with me I'm gonna have to take it off right, guys, try the right hand side of the joist cavity on this one Let's see what we got Okay, now let's try the other side. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Guys. Let's see what we can do. Guys, let's see if we got it cleaned up just a little bit. Um, I might have to back up and punt and actually um, take down some of my uh, my uh, panning. Let me see what we got here. Just doing our little vacuum thing. Probably didn't do a whole lot, but 
Any little bit will help. Hey guys, looks like we got a brand new game plan here. We're gonna we're gonna drop my return a little bit. enough to get back in there. Okay, guys, that should free us up enough room to, oh, good gravy. Oh, that's going to be a hell of a blooper. All right, guys, <laughs> hold on. That's tip one for the team. Let's see how much more funk's in this thing. Okay, guys, I don't want to take every single nail out of my painting here. So what I'm going to do is do some adapt and overcome type of thing here. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of this string line here. Poke it through our hole. basically fold our painting down that way we can get up in there All right, guys. Vacuum this puppy out. Use the language. Ooh, 
sweet. I'd say she's dirty, guys. Okay, Joyce 2 guys. I'm sure this is exciting, but it has to be done. It's funky.
guys, we've both got some of Mom's TSP cleaning solution here. She uses this to wash down walls and stuff like that. So this is the only thing I can find to do it with. So we'll just give it to one once over with it real good. Just knock that dust off of it. I'll try to get the other side from up top. Oh, it's kind of overkill guys but I probably won't have this off for you know <laughs> probably till after I update or something it's hot Alright guys, let's go ahead and do this side. I've already swept it out a little bit with this stuff. Our water's starting to get pretty, pretty nasty. And I'll just give it a real quick once over. I don't think this is actually going to, you know, it's not, it's not going to be perfect. But it'll be a lot cleaner than it was. I mean, I'll show you some before and it, well, you're actually watching the video, so I guess you're going to see them before. But, uh, anyway, I think I got it pretty good good enough I guess so uh, I might take take this up there and actually stick it down through the hole I can't really reach it it's about as far back as I can get that's wood right there don't really want to get it all wet but okay let me uh, get the front of it here and uh, I'll get right, right back with y'all putting everything back together and everything. that's what uh, 20 years of smoking you know, our 30 years of smoking and dog hair and cat hair and you name it working in the house and everything but anyway guys okay guys right. let's see if we can get this thing back together again you gotta hold your mouth right And you don't want to ever do it like, you know, go straight down the road like this or, or your sheet metal will buckle. Well, 
how'd it go? Oh, I did. <laughs> what a buddy, my barber grill. Need a new chuck for my drill, I guess. Blowing there, cowboy. It's like putting my screws in one of them, uh, <laughs> you know, at uh, the pizza uh, mozzarella stuff, that fake crap that goes on your pizza and spaghetti, you know. It holds uh, screws real well. And so does my mate. All right, guys. Now, what I might do is I brought my pookie down somewhere. I don't know where it is, but uh, I've got it thawing out. It should be down there somewhere. But uh, I might go ahead and uh, pookie it up. But I got to thinking, if I do all that and I'm going to repan everything, or you know, you know what I'm saying, I probably ought to just wait, and then it won't be a pain in the butt trying to get my my nails and screws and all that back out again. So. Uh, I reckon we're good for now uh, but knowing me once I start one project I'll probably start getting into something else I really want to get into this return over here but uh, I'm sure I bored, bored y'all half to death with this one so I appreciate you watching my videos and I reckon we'll holler at you soon take care bye okay guys let's take a real quick peek at what we did today just a little cleaning on this return air here so Well, open Pandora's box here, uh, open a can of worms. Uh, I can't never leave well enough known, so uh, <laughs> got another project for y'all. It's coming. All right, guys, I, I bet you can figure out what it's going to be, too. All right, y'all.